So, we're going to talk about Portillo's. Now, Portillo's is halfway on my blacklist and halfway off my blacklist. Now, the reason why they're halfway on a, not on a blacklist is because it's not that bad. Usually the orders, for the most part, are usually done. I have one issue with Portillo's. One, three. It's DDK and I'm here today with another DoorDash video. Huge shout out to everybody tuning in. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thumbs up to you and also give me a thumbs up back by hitting that like button. Today, we're actually gonna go to the dealership and get a new, we're gonna check out getting a new vehicle. Now, we don't know if we're gonna get one or not yet, but we have to go to the dealership and try to see what they, as far as the numbers go, because we have been using way too much gas. We have a 97 Buell Clark Avenue, which is mine, also just in case you want it, with the supercharger in it. And then we have the Infiniti QX60, which is not that bad on gas. It's just a lot of money to maintenance it. Like we had to get a, a headlight one time, $2,000. So we can't keep on putting miles and all that stuff on this car, because if we do, we're gonna be coming out of pocket a lot of money. So, wanna go there? Oh yeah, the reason why we're gonna go to Toyota is because we had a Corolla for a few days. And I must say, we only put $26 in that thing and made about 200 and some dollars. So, we're gonna go check out a Corolla, maybe some other smaller cars and see what we come up with. So I see you guys when we get to the dinner show. And oh yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Um, no, that's that's not for me. I have a DoorDash order for Arlene, Arlene P. It may be back there. Arlene, okay. Thank you. Excuse me. Have a great day. You as well. Have a great weekend. All right, you too. Thank you so much. 6.75 for 8.2 miles. You done lost your mind. You will not be eating any dinner today. Not for me, at least. Somebody else want to be a fool, and that's cool. But not me, baby. <laughs> Uh, DoorDash for Raphael B. Raphael. Pick up for Raphael. No sales people, far mm -hmm. right soliciting. Losing anything. They don't know what that's meant to do. I feel them. Whereas 2.7 miles for 6.55. It's not the greatest amount, but we kind of got to get in the flow right now. So. We're gonna go ahead and take this, even though it's not the the most money in the world. But you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. We just now starting. Thirteen more minutes. Excuse me. Um, I have a DoorDash order for. Oh, okay. I don't find down here. Excuse me, um, I have a door that's pickup for Chitalia G right here. Thank you. You too. That's you? Oh. There you go. I hope you enjoy. You have a great day. Thank you. Miles for $26.50. Is that pest mark? It's two orders, four items. The pest mark order. Now, there's two orders on this for $26.50. We're gonna take one of them off because it's just way too far and it's way is way out of out of where we need to be. So you're just gonna go over here. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Question mark, hit the name, can't do this order. Hit the name again. Undersign. Oh, so look. 
It says the order was for $26.50. Your new minimum pay will be $15.75 and your completion rate will be at 92%. So this guy was actually only going to pay $9.25 to us to do this, to go way out there. And he only had one item, so we're not doing that. Wham, hit that too far, submit, and that's it. Hey, how you doing, sir? Um, I'm here to pick up a DoorDash order. I'm not sure where to go. I can help you. Can we go to him? Okay. <laughs> I'm at the right place then. Yes, yeah. you are. Uh, first and last name? Richard Da. How do you... Last name is D-A-H. And then there's an L. Okay. Hello, my friend. Hello. Hello. Sir, your seat. No, we're good. Thank you. Well, that's fairly simple. Yes, it is. There you go. As a matter of fact, uh, I'll just carry it. Thank you very much, sir. You too. Oh. oh, it's two houses on here. It's two of them. Picnic table. I'm guessing this is the picnic table. So maybe this is the first one. Got the Porsche. Doing it. Doing it. I go pick up this little order. Thirteen seventy-five. They usually paying the stupid back for mix. I don't know. They, I think they they went to low now though. Let's go ahead and get busy. Is this the number you need here? To start with two. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, twenty-three ten. Twenty-three ten. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Eighty-nine eighty-seven twelve. Question for you. The future references for me, this is my, like my second time coming in here to doing DoorDash. Do I need to wait in the line if it's, okay. So, we're here at the dealership. We're gonna get the keys to two Yaris's and two Corolla. I just found out from the sales guy, Leo, that the Yaris's are a little bit smaller than the Corolla. So, this is one of them right here. I forgot the other ones though. It's like four of them. So, I think that's one. And then we have two more that's a little bit older, like this one is 2017, and that's manual, so it wasn't that. And then this 2015, no, that's Camry. Um, it's one of these, but we're gonna check those out and see what happens. Hopefully, they give us some good numbers, and if not, we're gonna go somewhere else. We're gonna find a car eventually. Uh, so I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a scratch right here. And then this little side messed up right here. Somebody scraped, somebody side swiped them. That's down there. And then there's also another little mark right here. Right here, and then some marks right there. So, the tires. Because you don't want to buy the car. And like, remember I got the vent? First thing I had to do is get some tires. These tires aren't that bad. I just want to check stuff like that. So you're gonna have to come out of pocket right off the bat. They're decent. Not bad. Pretty decent. Got a little ding right there. Stuff right here. We'll see what they're talking about. Tires here. Take them tires. We're gonna take this for a test drive. Uh, the tires are okay. It's cleaner than the other one. Not even scratches or anything. This is a this is a 2017 or 20, 2019. This 2019. Look joint. See the back seat. This joint is small. This joint is super small. It gives me the yours. We're gonna take this for a test drive, so stay tuned. Yours. Just so you guys know, I just gave you a little clip of the Corolla, the 2014. It actually had low miles on it, but for the used vehicles, they said that they are not putting any more money in the vehicle, so you know they would not be fixing anything as far as like the cosmetics and everything like that. But if we're gonna buy a car, we're gonna make sure we get a warranty on it. 
just to, you know, we want to be on the safe side because the big jump is pretty smooth. It's pretty, it's tiny. But it's, it's, it's tiny, but it's not that bad though. It's, for, it's good for what we need it for. You know what I'm saying? This one has 28,309 miles on it. So that's the lowest mile. So not bad. get this money I really like honestly it's not the biggest but I think it's is kind of decent right here because you got a little bit more room you put your water bottles and everything right there and then also we have the uh, radio and everything hooked up right there but um, this is going to save me from trying to speed and get to those door dashes this joint pick up so slow I mean, we don't need the pickup. We don't need the pretty pickup bed. I'm just, I'm just like speed though, but it's not what we buy in this car. So, um, the suspension doesn't seem bad at all. It seems actually pretty nice. Um, brakes. You know what's not noticed about the four cylinders? Like when we drove the Corolla too, it's like the brakes are like more. They like it's kind of like the older vehicles, like my my '97 Buick Park Avenue. It has like it's a little more cushiony, like the newer car, like the Infiniti. I went right when you touch it, it stop. So this is a little bit different. I think it's because the speed is only a four something. You don't need as much uh, stopping power as you would in the SUV versus in, in the fast car too. So, but this is actually not that bad. This joint don't got no go. I just <laughs> that's what I think I was saying. It ain't got no go in this joint. Little trunk space we can fit some of them groceries all that in there it's decent and i think we probably can fold down the back seats too if we need to we're Let's in the 2014 corolla right now this is the one with the little nicks and necks on it this one does have a reverse camera first off the gadgets are better i like the gadgets better they got all different gadgets this is the s2 which is a little bit more sporty so we're gonna put it in sport to see what the thing really do and, um, clean that joint the back seat is has more room Oh, sunroof top, digger to the sea with the gangster lean. This joint got some sunroof and everything in it. They parked it right by this curb, too. Okay. Test this joint out. Oh, this only has 51,693 miles. Oh, yeah. You already getting busy. This little joint, this joint right here. You can feel it, it's a big, big difference. That little S helps a lot. But maybe we didn't have the other one in sport, so let's try to do it without sport, because I really didn't know how to work the yard. Feel that, heard it? Oh, that's the brakes. Um, I didn't know how to really work the yards like that. But this little joint ride, and it's not even in sport right now. It feels much, it feels more like home. It feels better to me. The one thing is, another good thing about this, is once we get the car, we're not gonna have to put premium gas in it in, in the car. So that's gonna save us money right there. And not only that, again, we only spent $26 one time and we ran it up of 26. This joint got pedal shifters. I can't even remember how much it was. But this little joint, I know it's it got the little dings on it, but you know, it's just cosmetic, baby. This joint decent though. I think this is, I, I like this way better. I ain't even gonna lie. It feels like it's it, it's only a little bit more room, but it feels like so much more. Um, it has look. Oh, it's not touch screen. Is it? Oh, it is touch screen. I don't even know how to really work all this. CD player in here. This little joint decent. I'm liking this. It's, it's much more room to me. It's more. Yeah, and then another thing is this one I want to say. Yes, the car may cost a little bit more than than yours. At the same at the same age and everything. But you have to think about this too. You also want to be comfortable when you're in this car because 
we're going to be in for the most of the day. We're going to be in the car, so we got to be comfortable when we're driving it. The Yaris wasn't bad, though. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't like it was bad or anything. Um, it's just, it was a little bit more crammed. I don't know about this, this, this uh, switch though. It's a little different. It's a little different. I don't know if this. What you think? You think the switch feel okay? Let's take these brakes out. The switch is not bad though. It's just not. I'm used to air ride, so. Brake. Let's see. Stop on down. Let me see. Brakes good. Radio. I don't even know how to work that. This little joint decent. I like this. Oh, that's dirty. They had a dog or something in here. Oh, yeah, they definitely had a dog. They had a dog. They you got know, sunroof sun for this joint. See them tires? I need some tires, probably. You might need tires. This is the one that's in the, in the back, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty dirty. Hey, that ain't, that ain't hurt, never hurt me. This is 2017, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. 2017. This is the Corolla. This is the Corolla. How much they want for this out of here? Um, $18.9. $18.9 for this. We definitely gonna need some tires. So we left the dealership, we got a couple little orders. We did leave the dealership, we, we, you guys saw the 2017 Corolla. We put a down deposit on that and it's supposed to be ready Friday because Thanksgiving is going to be 30, so it's not going to be ready. So he said give him a few more days. Should be ready Friday. We're going to go test drive and if that's if it drives good, then that's the one we're going to go with. Now, we did have a couple orders. We had $19.05, it is actually 233 right now. And we're going to try to dash in between the slow hours right now and then try to pick up later because we got to take catch up right now because we're behind. So we got to get this money, baby. So if you aren't subscribed again, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And hopefully we had a new car for the channel. But 4.4 miles for 875. Stay alive. Let's get it. We got this one decked out. Look at that, John. Sounded good in here, too. Oh, hello. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a great day. Bed, Bath, and Beyond. 5.8 miles for 8.75. These are pretty straightforward. So another thing is we're gonna set that. Another thing is, oh, let me see that. You also have to consider, oh, shout out to my guy, Bentley Coop. You also have to consider what you're gonna have to do when you get the order. So sometimes you might have to go in the store, use a red car and do all this extra stuff. So this this one, they, this one they get to doing it. Look, look, look. Okay, so they wanna add Buffalo Wild Wings, which they're on a blacklist. So they ask, that's not happening. Um, you had to consider what you're doing when you get the order. If it's fairly simple, usually bad, uh, bed, bath and beyond, you just go in there. Last time was a little hectic though, don't get me wrong. Lady had a little attitude and all that. But hopefully this one go well. We're gonna go ahead and grab the item and then try to move on. Sometimes they don't answer. You can give them a call. All right, look, slack. Hopefully they got that turned down. Hello. Yeah, that's too 
bag. So here's the first one. And there is the second one. You have a great night and enjoy. Wow. 13.6 miles for 15.25. This is pretty far. So Head I'm, east on I mean, West Grand Avenue, not, then use the second. It's not a bad order. It's just Portello's, man. I'm gonna have to talk to you guys about Portello's. I'm gonna have to talk to you about it. So, we're gonna talk about Portillo's. Now, Portillo's is halfway on my blacklist and halfway off my blacklist. Now, the reason why they're halfway on a, not on a blacklist is because it's not that bad. Usually the orders for the most part are usually done. I have one issue with Portillo's, one. There's this one lady in there. She does the DoorDash order. Every single time I go in there and that lady in there, I already know I'm in for a headache. I already know every single time. So I really do hope that she's not in here because I had to go through this yesterday and I'm kind of screaming a little bit, but please excuse me. I had to go in here yesterday and she messed up my order. I had to turn back around. She gave me the wrong person's order. So again, that's what I tell you guys, check your orders. I really hope this lady is not in here. I want to say something, but I can't say it because, you know, YouTube guidelines and all this stuff, so I'm not going to really say it. But yesterday I went in here. I asked her for Kelly D. She gave me Kathy something, Kathy P or something. Then when I had to turn back around, I got out of the thing, drive, and then I happened to look at the, at the order. I'm like, I'm looking at my order, the order on the phone. I'm like, it said it's supposed to have a Sprite in there. That's, and I look, I said, I know that I, I ain't get a Sprite. I happened to look in the thing and it was the wrong order. I had to go back and she thought it was funny. She thought it was see. I really hope this lady not in here. Oh, she ain't in here, man. I'm, guys, I need you guys to pray for me and make sure that this lady, comment below and pray for me. I hope this lady not in here. And I think she may be, is that her? No, it's just this one lady, man. Well, I'm about to go in here. And we're going to see what happened. This time, I'm not going to cut it off, edit it, none. I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to see what happens. We're picking up two orders. So, let's see how this goes. Lady is here, guys. She is here. Man, man, man. I hope these are my orders right here. Please let it be my orders. Look, the orders don't even got names on them. That's real smart. Come on. Okay, I got one. Um, please let this other one be in here. Why would you put this like this? See, this is what I'm talking about, man. Why would you put this in here? You can't even see the order. You can't see the name on the order. On my jacket. I don't want to dig in nobody's food. Please let this be it. No, that's not it. I don't know who this is. Here we go. Pardon? Let's see how the girl really looks. I'm sorry? Um, I have an order for Dina B. Dina B. D I N A B. So, God saved me from having to deal with a headache in Portillo. That is the lady that always messed up everything. And let me say this. The only reason why I feel like that it was not, first off, I know you guys saw the, the bags and how they didn't have the uh, the names on the bags. You gotta dig inside the bag to see like stuff like that. Like, come on, this time, you, you, use this, use this right here. Use that, use that. But the only reason why I feel like that the stuff wasn't as bad as usually is, because I feel like that dude, that dude that was in there, I think that he's probably a supervisor or something because he didn't have on a regular red Portillo shirt. He had like on like dress clothes more. So I think that that was a manager or something. Well, they need to be managing her because she's every time, every time, it never fails, never fails. But we're doing actually decent right now, so we're gonna see what we come up with. Hopefully, we can get a uh, 150 plus. Hopefully, we can get 200. I don't know. It's eight. I mean, it's 718 right now, so we got a little ways to go. And stay tuned. Hold on. I see one on the photo. You already don't know. Okay. 
So it is the next day. I forgot to do the outro yesterday. We actually did reach our goal. We actually did reach our goal. We actually did reach our goal. Our goal was $150. We got $150.75. I wish we could have got like $175, but we still reached the goal. We did a little bit better. We got 75 cent more. You know, everything counts. But you guys want to make sure you stay tuned to the next video because tomorrow's video, which is today for me now, is actually going to be the day before Thanksgiving. So we're going to see how much we get today. I'll see you guys on the next one. It's VDK, and I'm on my way.